Hello, my name is Stephen Harris, and I'm with Knowledge Publications. We publish the best stuff you've never seen on energy. And I'm going to show you some stuff that you can do at home, but you darn well had better do this outside with an adult, and you better wear goggles and gloves and a full face shield and a spacesuit. Actually, be smart, be safe, okay? We're going to deal with fire here. I don't want anyone getting hurt, and if you do, it's your own damn fault. Get an adult, get an expert, get someone to help you and show you, ask, learn. And here we go. This is really simple stuff. This is energy, biomass energy. Stuff people knew 100 years ago that you don't know today. And I'm going to show you. Here we have an ordinary empty soda can, which was just recently enjoyed. Here. I have sawdust. Plain, ordinary sawdust from the table saw. And what am I going to do with these, you ask? Well, I'll tell you. I'm going to pour a bunch of it into this can. Yeah, I know, this is just terribly exciting, isn't it? I'm going to put maybe an inch or so in the bottom. So it you know, comes up to about there. A little hard for you to see, but basically, not much. And I'm making a mess down here, but my mother's not here. Okay, so what are we going to do with this? What we're going to do is called gasification. And we publish books on this. Lots of books on this. This is easy stuff. I'm going to show you how easy it is. And it's actually, this technically this is called pyrolysis. Now this is a propane tank. This is a propane burner. All this is from Walmart or Dick's or any local store. You can use a propane burner like this one as well where it just screws onto the top. Or you can use any other heat source, but don't use your stove inside, okay? Don't use your kitchen stove. Do this outside only. You can even put this over a little bit of campfire if you want. So that's all we have is a standard propane stove. And what I'm gonna do is the following. After I get my company name up here, Knowledge Publications. Don't forget that. I'm gonna turn on the gas, light it, and it's kind of on, uh, let's see, it's kind of on a little bit of high, medium right now, just for a few moments. We don't want it up too high, it'll melt the can. Aluminum melts around 1100, you flow it and pour it around 1400 Fahrenheit. But so we're just heating this up, and we'll let you see what's going on. Oh yeah, I'm doing this inside because I'm in a controlled laboratory environment and I am a professional and I have lots of ventilation. Okay, these fumes coming out of here, outside, okay, these are noxious or can be noxious. You can see that coming out there and you wait for a bunch of it to come out and then you can either you can light it or it'll light itself if it's hot enough. And there you get an absolutely beautiful flame. Oops, I goofed, I'm sorry. <laughs> I had it on a little bit too high because I was doing this video. You gotta turn it down otherwise this happens. And while it still will work, come on, work. There we go. It's working and it'll continue to work. And I'll make sure I don't burn it up. See, I just turn it down to just a little bit of blue on there. And obviously you can see that I got a lot more energy coming out than going in. This is not magic, it's because the sawdust is a fuel. This flame right here, we're doing actually low temperature pyrolysis. And at low temperatures, you get a lot of volatiles coming off. This is actually methanol, uh, methane, uh, a whole flavor of mild organic chemicals coming off of here. You can actually condense this without burning it and make methanol. Uh, if you use a lot of pine, you know, this would be terpene, uh, turpentine, that's how they used to make it. Uh, this also contains a fair amount of hydrogen and carbon monoxide. And if we do this in a higher temperature regime with something other than an aluminum can, and you do it in a closed retort, you're going to get even better hydrogen carbon monoxide. This right here can be run to a stove, a heater, small furnace. You can run, yes, an engine off of this. You can make power from it. 
It's got to be cleaned up a little bit for an engine, but we'll show you how to do that. Not in this video, but certainly ones on the site. The books describe this. Um, here, let me turn this around for you. It's a little soft. And you can see, you saw how much sawdust I put in. It was not much. I mean, it was just like an inch, inch and a half of this on the bottom. And you're getting a lot of flame off of here. And what you're going to have left over in the bottom is basically charcoal. And we'll show you what to do with the charcoal later on, but not in this video, maybe. And voila, there's sawdust in a soda can. And just a moment, I'm going to press pause and show you more. Okay, I said I was going to show you more. Here's a little more. I told you what was left was charcoal. That's charcoal. Right there. Real close to the Kingsford stuff you buy for barbecuing. Now this is going to burn a little bit because I didn't cool it down. The can fell apart because I accidentally melted it because I was paying attention to you rather than my experiment. That's why you wear safety goggles. Uh, but uh, this is just charcoal here now. What can you do with charcoal? You mix charcoal and steam at elevated temperature and you get the most beautiful combination of hydrogen and carbon monoxide. And what do you do with that? You use that in your car. And we'll show you how to do that. Hmm. Okay, Steve, take your own advice. Just wear gloves. I'm going to clear this out of here. And then I'm going to show you something else. Well, okay. All righty then. What do we have here? These are wood chips. Not wood chips, I'm sorry. These are wood pellets. These are what you buy for a wood pellet stove. Okay? It's just ground up sawdust that's pressed together. Maybe a little extra lignin, lignin added, but that's what it is. No wax, no nothing. You take some of these and we pour these into the can. Not too many, but not too few. Coat the bottom. Eh, I'd say about, there's an inch in there. We're going to come back up here to our stove. Again, after telling you that we are knowledgepublications.com, K-N-O-W-L-E-D-G-E-P-U-B-L-I-C-A-T-I-O-N-S.com. 